Marco Chobot, and I'm getting on the first space barge to the Red Planet, and this is Nerdist News! Holy flowing water, Batman! NASA has announced today that there is flowing water on Mars. Now you may be thinking, didn't we already know that there's water on Mars? A big whoop, Chobot, wake me up when the moon explodes or something. But you'd only be half correct and 100% rude. See, we knew there was water on Mars and frozen polar ice caps and deep within the soil, but I'm talking about flowing liquid water on the surface of the planet, baby. Now this is a whole new ball game. So where's the water coming from? How do we know it's there? What does it mean? Is this confirmation of, you guessed it, aliens? Uh, to help us answer all of our Mars water questions, please welcome Nerdist Science Editor, Kyle Hill. Woo! <laughs> and stuff, right, Kyle, Jess? Why are we even discussing this? Yeah. Kyle, how is this discovery different from what we knew about water being on Mars before, and what's the history of water on Mars as a general thing? So when you look at Mars, you see all these things that look like etched rivers and lakes. We mm. know that billions of years ago, Mars probably had something like that, maybe even an ocean, but today we only think that water existed on Mars locked up underground or in something like the polar ice caps. But Confirming today, mm -hmm. we are finding running water coming down the mountains and valleys and canyons on Mars. So what enabled us to discover that now? So we looked at these dark streaks down the sides of, say, mountains, and it looked like they were flowing like water mm -hmm. flows, but we had to confirm that water was actually there. How we did this was kind of a roundabout way. We didn't detect the water itself. We detected the salts that were in the water. So. You know when like you put some chemicals on snow and it melts? That's because it's lowering the freezing temperature of the snow, so yeah. it remains liquid. We think that for water to flow on Mars, salts would also have to be in the water because Mars is really cold. So what we did was look for the evidence of these salts in these streaks running down the mountains with a special camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter orbiting Mars, and we found them. So for right now, we're not going to be looking up close. We're going to have to look at it from the skies above. All right. Well, super cool. So NASA is checking to see how much they need to pack for man's first road trip to Mars. Super exciting. But what about? And I don't even think I really need uh, to say. You don't. It. I know what you're going to say. You're going to aliens dance a horn. Wait, what? Well, say that, it again. D aliens. <laughs> that's that's the hard thing here because. Look, we have this back and forth about aliens. Mm -hmm. It's fun, but my it's fun. It's fun. My, but my contention is that they definitely haven't visited Earth. But here's the cool thing: mm -hmm. this is a great possibility for there to be actual aliens in outer space. This would be one of the greatest places to look, bar none, aside from going to an icy world like Enceladus and drilling down into an ocean or something like that. So The Martian comes out Friday. Is mm. this actually a truthful story or just NASA propaganda? This study was probably accepted a while ago and they're releasing... You think they held on to it because of The Martian release? It's not the craziest thing that oh ever happened. Oh my god, no, I wouldn't put it past Hollywood at all. Mm. Anyway, all right, thanks Kyle. Kyle Hill, everybody. <laughs> Woo! So, what do you people think? How long will it be before we'll be able to grab our bathing suits and hop on the next spaceship to the Red Planet's Winding Rivers Wild Water Park? Those salty slip and slides are calling my name. Let's discuss. Click on my horrifying Martian life form to subscribe to Nerdist. Check out Nerdist's awesome first movie, Nerdist Presents the Hive, now available on iTunes, PSN, Amazon, and all of their VOD platforms. And check out Nerdist.com for all your Nerdist news. Who's a nice little alien pegacorn? Oh.